This time, I'm going to talk about heteroscedasticity and its tests in Python. First, let's review the assumptions for multiple linear regression. First assumption is the relationship between independent variables and dependent variable should be linear. If the relationship is not linear, you need to transform the independent variable in order to get a linear relationship. Or you need to use another kind of regression. The second assumption is you should have homoscedasticity. That is, variance of the residuals should be the same at each level of the independent variables. The third assumption is the residuals should be uncorrelated. The next assumption is there shouldn't be multicollinearity exists. That is, two or more of the independent variables should not be highly correlated. The last assumption is the residuals should be normally distributed. I discussed multicollinearity and the normally distributed residuals in my previous videos. You are welcome to watch those videos. In this video, I'm going to talk about homoscedasticity. If it is not homoscedasticity, we call it heteroscedasticity. So, what is heteroscedasticity? Heteroscedasticity means unequal scatter. See, this plot, it shows linear relationship between independent variable and dependent variable. When we check the residual, you can see the residual is about the same, although when independent variable increase. But when we check the graph on the right, when the independent variable increase, the residual also increased. Let's think about this example, the travel expense versus family income. When the family income increases, the variety of the travel expense will also increase. That shows heteroscedasticity. So what is pure heteroscedasticity and impure heteroscedasticity? Pure heteroscedasticity refers to cases when you specify the correct model and yet you observe non-constant variance in the residual plots. Then what is impure heteroscedasticity? That happens when you have an issue with the model. When you leave an important variable out of the model, the omitted effect is absorbed into the error term. Then you have heteroscedasticity in your model. In that case, that is impure heteroscedasticity. So what are not consequences of heteroscedasticity? Heteroscedasticity does not cause bias in the coefficient estimates, but it does make them less precise. 
Since a square is based on overall sum of squares, it is unaffected by heteroscedasticity. Also, our estimate of root mean squared error is valid in the presence of heteroscedasticity. Then, what are consequences of heteroscedasticity? The OLS model is no longer best linear unbiased estimator. And with heteroscedasticity, we no longer have the best estimator because error variance is biased. It caused incorrect standard errors, invalid T statistics, and F statistics. RM test no longer valid. Then how do we check heteroscedasticity? We can use QQ plots, brush pagan tests, or wet tests. Let's go through them one by one. First, let's see QQ plots. This plot shows if residuals are spread equally along the range of predictors. Let's check out the following two cases. In case 1, you can see the residual appear randomly spread. If you draw a line through those residuals, it shows roughly a horizontal line. But if you check case 2, the residuals increase while the fitted values increase. And if you draw a line, it will show a slope. So the line is not horizontal. It shows it has heteroscedasticity. So what is Bruch Pagan test? Let's go through the steps of this Bruch Pagan test. Think about we have this regression. First, we need to regress y on x and generate squared residuals. Then we will regress squared residuals on x or a subset of x's. Then we calculate n r squared from regression in step 2. This n is the sample size. Rm is distributed chi-squared with k degrees of freedom. k is number of the independent variables. In this bruch pagan test, the non-hypothesis is it is homoscedastic. So we will reject homoscedasticity assumption if p-value is below chosen alpha level. Then what is white test? Think about the same regression. First step, this is same with bruch pagan test. B regress Y on axis and generate residuals, squared residuals. And then V regress squared residuals on axis, squared axis, and cross products of axis. So the difference between Bruch Pagan test and the wet test is we have this squared x and cross products of x for wet test, but not 
the Bush Pagan test. Then we will reject Homo scedasticity, the non hypothesis, if test statistic is significant. One point I want to emphasize here is with small data sets, the number of parameters required for this test is too many, comparing with Bruch Pagan test. In my previous video with title Multicollinearity and its detection in Python, I built a GDP model. You're welcome to watch that video. In this GDP model, I use GDP as dependent variable and use those independent variable to forecast the GDP. And this is the result I got from this model. First, I download the data, the dependent variable and independent variable, and save them in the Excel file. And then I read the data into Python. This is dependent variable. Those are independent variables. Then I built my model. You can see the intercept here and all those coefficients for independent variables. And let me show you the summary of this model. It has R squared 96.2% and adjusted R squared 96 point one percent and now we want to check heteroscedasticity for this residues of the model let's check the QQ plus first on the QQ plus we can see this line is not a horizontal straight line. So we might have issue of heteroscedasticity for this model. Now let's use Bruch Pagan test to detect if we have heteroscedasticity. With Bruch Pagan test, we can see the MM test p value is very small, and also the F test p value is very small. So it does show we have heteroscedasticity for this model. How about wet test? With wet test, we got similar results. The LM test p value is very small, and also the F test p value is very small. So we do have heteroscedasticity for this model. This is my discussion about heteroscedasticity and its tests in Python. Please provide your comments and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.